Hey everybody, I'm Dan Trepanier from Articles of Style, and today we're talking about how to build a wardrobe. I have 20 essential pieces for fall winter. I'm going to show you how to build a complete wardrobe using only 20 pieces. All right, let's dive into the 20 pieces. The first one, I like to start with outerwear. Uh, it's really the foundation of your fall winter wardrobe. If you're only going to have one coat, I'd go with something like this, a dressy midnight blue cashmere top coat. I mean, this is like the top uh, end of, of outerwear. Um, this you can dress up, you can wear it with suits, you can even wear it with tuxedos, but wearing a dressy coat casually is also a very elegant look. This is a coat that will last forever, uh, you'll make some great memories in it. Uh, so this is a foundation of fall winter wardrobe. All right, moving on to the second piece. We're still in the outerwear category here. You already have a dressy, warm top coat. The other one's something a little lighter, a little sportier, a little more casual. A leather jacket's a great option for this. A bomber jacket's also a great option for this. Um, this leather jacket I've had for 10 or 12 years. If you've been following the blog for a long time, you know all about this piece. Um, but something you can dress up, dress down, some for evening. This is a, an absolute wardrobe must have. All right, moving right along. The next piece, the third piece here, um, is something that I would call a cross between light outerwear and tailoring. It's a sport coat, but it's made from a heavy duty Harris tweed fabric. So a lot of times throughout the year in the fall, even on a cold spring day, I'll wear this kind of as a coat. Um, with jeans or with a scarf, but something textured like this that is a sport coat, but because the fabric's so casual, it kind of toes the line. Again, the key is you can dress it up, you can dress it down, and it mixes and matches with all the pieces here. Tweed jacket, can't go wrong. The fourth piece is actually our first suit. I was trying to think of what the perfect fall winter suit was. Flannel is one of my favorites, one of our customers' favorites. Can't go wrong with a flannel suit. This is charcoal gray, three-piece suit two button notch lapel, super classic, never going out of style. The beauty of a fabric with this weight is the drape, the comfort of wearing it, and then the ability to separate this. So you can wear the jacket on its own, the trousers on its own, even the vest on its own. So super classic, super versatile flannel suit. The fifth piece I put in here, because everyone needs a tuxedo. You're not gonna wear it often, but when you do wear it, you wanna look and feel like a million bucks. If you're going to a formal event, that is the moment you should be at your best and dress your best. You don't want to be running around a few weeks before trying to figure out a cheap tuxedo or whatever. Get yourself a beautiful tux. You'll love wearing it. You'll make great memories in it. This one is our classic tuxedo in midnight blue with midnight blue trim. Uh, it's double breasted with a shawl lapel. It also has the vest, U-shaped vest in here, uh, which sort of takes the place of a cummerbund. So um, this is certainly a must have. You're gonna need it eventually. And when you bust it out, it's going to be awesome. The fifth piece here is just a casual pair of trousers. So we have the kind of the dressy stuff going on. We're getting into the more casual. This corduroy pant, everyone loves corduroys. Super comfortable. They break in beautifully. The more you wear them, the better they look. I went with the wide whale, which I like. It's kind of velvety. It's very soft. Uh, but as you'll see when we get into the outfits, these pants can be worn with virtually any of these pieces. So again, super versatile. Here we're getting into three button-down shirts uh, that range in sort of formality. So the first one I'll, I'll show you here is what we call our crossover shirt. This is a very interesting shirt because it's a formal tuck shirt, but can also be worn as a business shirt. So you have a hidden placket in the front. So if you're wearing a bow tie, you have French cuffs, you have a clean front, like a James Bond front. Works awesome with the tuxedo. At the same time, if you want to pair it with the suit or the sport coat, you can wear a tie with it. It hides the hidden placket. And it's basically just a white go-to shirt. So this is what we call a hybrid shirt, formal or business, very essential. The next shirt I would think about is like a powerful business shirt. So if you're going all business, you have a big meeting, you really want to look like you got your stuff together, this is a great shirt. You got your, your strong stripe, Bengal stripe, you got a contrast collar, it's a little bit of the Gordon Gecko vibe, but not a lot of people are, are wearing this style of shirt, so when you bust it out, it really shows that you mean business. So a, a very strong business shirt is a good option to have. All right, we're on to item number nine. This is the most casual of the three shirts. Uh, even though it's a button-down shirt, it's not technically a dress shirt. This is actually a casual shirt. Uh, Oxford cloth, thick and beefy, breaks in nice, washes well. Your classic button-down collar. This you can wear with the collar open. You can wear it with a tie. You can roll up the sleeves. You can wear it with jeans. Probably the most versatile shirt you can have is going to be a, a thick-bodied Oxford cloth. Now we're getting into kind of our knitwear collection here. The first sweater I have is actually a cross between knitwear and outerwear. 
I wear this kind of as, as like a coat. Uh, it's a big chunky cardigan. You can throw it over just about anything. So I'll put this over dress shirts, even vests or casual knits or any of the shirts. Wear it with the jeans, wear it with any of the pants. Um, so I like a big chunky knit sweater that uh, you can wear as a coat. It's a great piece. This one is a vintage sweater that Wes found in a random vintage store that's been around for, for 10 years. It's all beat up and that's, that's what we love about it. All right, our second knit, or our 11th piece. Uh, this is a mock neck cashmere sweater. I'm a big fan of turtlenecks or mock necks. As you'll see when you do the outfits, this is like your base layer. You throw this on, it's tight on the body. It really hugs your frame. You can put anything over it. it. Makes getting dressed really, really easy. Once you throw this on, add a pair of pants, add a jacket, you're good to go. Our last knit, um, probably the shirt I wear the most, is just a black crew neck. It seems really simple and like kind of duh, but that's what this is about. It's not about bold pieces or splashy things or things you can only wear once in a while. It's about basics that fit well, that mix and match with everything you got. Um, and really give you that versatility. So I wear this black crew neck with, with virtually everything. All right, from there, we're getting into jeans. Um, you know, I would say every guy needs at least one pair of, of dark raw denim. Um, I've had these for many years. Um, they break, they're breaking in beautifully. This is by a brand called RPM West, made in America as well. Uh, so I'll show you how to style these when we get into outfits. But the key with jeans is that you want to be able to dress them up, so you want them to fit in a way that's congruent with the tailoring. So a lot of jeans, they sit low in the hips, they have sort of a low rise. I don't like to wear pants like that because they look funny when you're wearing a tailored jacket. So my jeans sit kind of at the natural waist, they have a cut more like a trouser, and that gives you more versatility as well. Uh, so from there, we're into shoes. Uh, we only have 20 pieces, so I selected three shoes. Uh, the first shoe is a whole cut black Oxford. The dress shoe, the reason I selected this, kind of like the crossover shirt, this is kind of like a crossover shoe, meaning that it can be full formal. You can wear it with a tuxedo, no problem, get them shined up, they look beautiful. Um, but you can also wear them with a business suit. So it's not like your patent leather tuxedo shoe that is only for formal. This one can kind of do both. Um, so that's why it's a very classic style. The second pair of shoes, classic penny loafers. So we have a dress shoe that can be formal or business. This is a casual shoe. You know, you, you don't really wear this with suits. You want to wear this with jeans. You can wear it with loafers, but it's not meant to be a business shoe, certainly not a formal shoe. Um, think about this as your sneakers, kind of like an elevated sneaker. So if you're going to wear sneakers with an outfit, maybe try a loafer. Uh, and the fun thing is you can play around with socks, especially in the, in the winter. You can wear chunky socks and add a little contrast there because you can always see a little bit of the foot. All right, last but not least in the footwear category, this is probably one of my favorite pair of shoes all time. If I only had one pair of shoes for life, this might be it. Uh, we're looking at a Chelsea boot and brown suede. Super comfortable, um, slip on, easy to put on, easy to take off. But again, it's all about versatility. So these you can wear with the suit, you can wear with the jeans, you can dress them up, you can dress them down. Um, this isn't the ultimate, the ultimate shoe. So um, big on these. And then from there, for the rest of the 20 pieces, I just peppered in some accessories that you can wear with virtually anything. So I got two ties here. Obviously, your Midnight Silk bow tie. Um, that's a match for the tuxedo. So if you're going to have a classic tux, you need the bow tie to go with it. Um, I was thinking about if we only had one tie, what would it be? Uh, I chose our bamboo tie. The, the bamboo fabric for a necktie is unbelievable. It has a great knot, really nice drape. And then charcoal gray, you can't go wrong. Even with a charcoal suit, you know, you think it's not enough contrast or whatever. Charcoal on charcoal is a super sharp look. So if you can only have two ties, these would be two options. Uh, another accessory I wear often, brown felt hat. Um, I always have one of these kicking around. And then a scarf and a Donegal tweed. Again, accessories are the things that you still want them to be versatile and, and, and be able to work with everything, but you can add a little texture, a little pop. Even with the socks, like I was saying with the loafers, um, like a heavy-duty pair of socks. Um, and then I have a suede belt to go with the jeans and the corduroys to match the boots. And of course, with almost every look, a white pocket square. So that's the 20 pieces. Now we're going to take a look at the outfits that you can get for different occasions using only these pieces.
So there you have it, guys. There's how to build a fall winter wardrobe using only 20 essential pieces. Remember, when you're shopping for clothes, there's three essential keys. The first one is buying high quality items. You really want to invest in clothing that's going to last as long as possible. Two is avoiding trends or anything too bold or flashy and sticking to things that are timeless and classic. These 20 items are all never going to go out of style. And three, as you add new items to your wardrobe, think about what you already have. And will that new item give you more possibilities to create outfits or to dress for certain occasions? That's all for today. Thanks for watching. For more content like this, visit our website, articlesofstyle.com, and we'll see you next time. Peace.